Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. So I told you that I'm gonna make videos about Solana ecosystem, about potential projects and DeFi and yield farming and staking and passive income on Solana. In this guide, I'm going to talk about staking Radium and Serum. If you watch my previous videos, you already know what Radium and Serum is. This is my strategy to generate high growth potential and massive yields using Radium protocol. So we're gonna learn today why I think this is a good strategy. Of course, nothing here is a financial advice. I'm just sharing my strategies and how we can actually do it technically. We'll go through every single step and learn how to do it in the Radium Solana ecosystem using Phantom Wallet. So if it's something interesting, watch this video till then and learn how to do what I'm doing, staking Radium and Serum. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post these kind of tutorials about DeFi, yield farming, Solana, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, you will see them as soon as possible. And I post so much content that you can learn from me, go with me in this DeFi journey and become DeFi masters with Johnny Time. Now let's get started. First, I want to explain why I think that staking Radium and Serum is a good idea. So I told you that I'm bullish on Solana ecosystem and actually the biggest tokens that I'm bullish on is Radium and Serum. This is the blue chips for me in Solana because Serum, I don't know if you watched my videos, but if you didn't check out my video about Serum, what it is, basically it's a protocol that allows you to do limit orders, order book, traditional central exchange order books on Solana and SRM is the utility token for the Serum protocol. All the fees are used to buy back SRM token and get it burned and it has more utilities. This is the Serum token and Radium token is actually a token for the biggest decentralized exchange on Solana and also I have a video about Radium so check out this video about the Ray token. Check out this video. I will put links in the videos in the description below so if you want you start just watching and the YouTube algorithm will feed you with more interesting videos about Radium and Solana and Serum etc etc. So as you can see here the market cap is quite low. One billion dollar for Radium and around one billion dollar of serum and i know that you might be worried from impermanent loss so i'm gonna uh, make you relaxed because usually what happens with radium and serum that they are moving together because both of them are the biggest tokens with the biggest amount of market cap in the uh, solana ecosystem so once solana goes better and once one of them is going up actually the other one is also going up so you can see here that this is the 90 days chart of radium and serum and you can see that in, in terms of radium in the 19 uh, it has it, it all time high now it's actually a good time i think to accumulate more radium tokens that's what i'm doing and about the serum it's very very similar charts so when radium is going up serum is going up when radium is going down serum is going down that's why the impermanent loss will not be that significant and let's see how much percent you can make this is a lot of percentages so only when you add the liquidity of Ray SRM, only on the trading fees on Radium Protocol, you will get 7.86% from the trading fees. But that's not it. This is just the beginning. They have a farm, a yield farm. So if you stake your liquidity point tokens, you get additional 58 0.66 percentage APR. This is not APY, but APR. It's not compounded. And if you add it together, so let's add 7.86 plus 58.66. Together it's 66.5% a year APR not compounded. This is more than 5% monthly revenue, of course, in Ray tokens. And if you're bullish on Ray and Serum, then it's great because you get more Ray tokens. The impermanence will not be that significant and you're holding got good uh, assets that might appreciate in the future. I look at this strategy like real estate. If you buy real estate in a nice place, you know that the assets are gonna appreciate, you know the rate and serum are good projects and you get the yield, you get the cash flow from your tenants every month, every year you have cash flow that pays back your investment, but this is just better because the, this is 5% monthly. We don't have something like this in real estate. And you have the radium and serum tokens, which are might appreciate in the future. In my opinion, it's not a financial advice. This is just what I'm doing and sharing with you my strategy. Now let's get into some technical stuff, how we can do it. So the first thing you want to do is actually swap tokens and buy some Ray 
and Serum. So I already have some Ray, but let's buy some more. I'm gonna use my Solana tokens in order to buy. Let's buy Serum first, okay? So we're gonna use the swap in Radium in order to buy some Serum tokens. This is the simplest way to do it. So I'm just gonna buy 0 0.1. I'm gonna put 0. Um, 0 0.1 Solana tokens. Let's do 0 0.01 Solana tokens just for the sake of the example. And you can see that uh, we'll get around 0 0.3 Serum, which is around $2 just for the example. And I'm gonna swap my Solana with my Serum tokens. So I'm gonna click swap and approve the transaction with Phantom Wallet. If you don't know what Phantom Wallet, check out my previous tutorial about Phantom. I'll put link in the description and learn how to get started with Solana. I'm gonna send the transaction. Now my soul will be swapped. Transaction has been confirmed. Now I have some SRM tokens. You can, you have to do the same with Radium. I don't need to do it because I already have some Ray tokens in my wallet. So it's, it's just the same thing. Just swapping soul with Ray or whatever token that you have. But I already have now Ray and Serum. The next thing you want to do is add liquidity. So I'm gonna add liquidity of Serum and Ray, make sure that it's 50 and 50%. So you need to stake the same amount of Ray and Serum. So I'm gonna pick right here Ray and here I'm gonna pick Serum and I'm gonna click Max Ray and it will not work because I have more Ray than Serum. Then it means that I need to click Max on Serum because again, I need to provide 50, 50%. So I'm gonna click Max on Serum, provide the liquidity, click Supply and Approve the transaction using my Phantom Wallet. And once down, uh, my Ray and Serum will be sent to the smart contract and now we'll get the liquidity pool tokens of Ray and SRM. You can see right here, Radium liquidity pool tokens, V4 Ray SRM. Now you are already making some yields. You don't, make, you don't maximize the yields because you make only 7.8%, but if you want to maximize it and do some yield farming and not just provide liquidity, you need to go to farms. You go to farms, you search here for SRM, you find the relevant farm of Ray SRM liquidity pool tokens. And now we're gonna add the liquidity pool tokens to the smart contract that's responsible for yield farming to generate more Ray tokens, 58.67%. So I'm gonna click here, stake liquidity pool tokens, click max, stake all my LP tokens, radium LP tokens into the contract, confirm, approve the transaction using my phantom wallet, and once down, my liquidity pool tokens are being staked and are generating additional 58.6% yearly APR in the form of Ray tokens. You can harvest your tokens anytime, you can remove your liquidity anytime, let's see how we do it, we just click here the minus button, click max, confirm, and approve. Guys, if this tutorial is useful for you and you like it, check out my other videos. I have so many strategies of yield farming, how to diversify your assets, technical tutorials, how to do stuff. So if you want to become a DeFi master, click the subscribe button and the bell notification button to watch my other videos. Now we need to remove the liquidity just for the example. So we go back to pools and automatically it's supposed to detect, sorry, to liquidity and automatically it will detect that you have liquidity pool tokens and Ray SRM. I'm going to click here on my liquidity, click remove, max and confirm. Once I will remove the liquidity, I will get back my Ray and SRM tokens and now I can trade them to any other tokens that I want. Let's just swap them back, the Ray to some Sol. And let's just swap my Ray to Sol, click swap. Super, super easy, super simple, super straightforward. And we'll do the same thing for the Serum token. Swap it back to Sol because this was just an example for you. So I need to Sol tokens to give you out for free so you can bridge tokens. This is the wallet that I'm using to give free Sol. If you want to get started with Solana, you want to bridge and you don't have Sol for fees, check out my bridging tutorial from Binance Smart to Solana and I will give you some free Sol. And that's the guide, guys. That's the strategy of stacking Radium and Serum on the Radium yield farming, generating more than 5% every a month, that's what I'm doing and I'm sharing with you my strategies and how you can do the same. If you like this video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, for the YouTube algorithm. it really, really helps. So this video will get into more people that will learn how to make passive income on Solana. Thank you so much again for watching my videos. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.